Hi, I'm Sai. I'm a psychologist with one special place. And today, I'll be sharing some tips with you on developing the skill of problem solving in children. Avoid being a helicopter parent. Usually, we're always worried that our children will fall, they will make mistakes, but we don't realize that in the process of doing so, we are not giving them enough opportunities to learn and to grow. So no matter what age your kids are, let them make mistakes and teach them how to move forward. It's important to give your child some space in order to learn and to grow. Encourage creative play. By helping a child play in a manner that helps them to solve problems, that solves challenges. It could be just building wooden blocks or a building a fort or a sand castle. Whatever that requires them to be creative, that requires them to use their imagination is going to ultimately help them build their problem solving skills. Remember, Children learn in forms and in contexts of playing, so use it to their best advantage. Make problem solving a fun part of your everyday routine. Include your children in solving small little problems around the house. It could be playing puzzles, it could be using stories that require problem solving skills, it could be using real life situations. That gives a good opportunity to your children to think on their own. Also keep asking their opinions on solving a few things. Uh, that way they will know their opinion matters and that will help the skill of problem solving build naturally in them. It will also help to give your children different methods of solving a problem. For example, breaking a problem into smaller parts usually helps children to get around to solving it. Similarly, there is a GROW model of problem solving. GROW model uses the acronym G-R-O-W. G is for the goals, R is for reality, O is for options and W is for what next or the will. So using GROW acronym to solve our problems, we can use goals as in what is it that we are looking for, what is it that we want, our reality, what is happening around us, what is happening because of this problem, what has this problem caused, O is for options as in what are the options around us, and W is for will or what next. What is it that we have chosen to do? This acronym can effectively help in solving problems and it also makes it easy to break down the problem into smaller parts. Allow children to experience failure. Till the time your child does not fail at something, and does not make mistakes, they will not learn the art of problem solving. If you are unwilling to see your children fail at a task, then you are also unwilling for them to learn. So let your children make mistakes and let them grow. Routinely ask your children for help as well. By doing so, you are letting them know that you respect their capacity to solve problems. It will also help boost their confidence in problem solving. Another great way to practice problem solving skills is by having brainstorming sessions as a family often. That's a great motivator for your child in developing problem solving skills. I hope this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching.